Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, today I have a simple card for you. It is, hopefully you can see it in the light, it's got delicate sponging on the edges. Probably not, I've probably made you all blurry and feel sick. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to make it. This is using the Wildflower Meadow stamp set, which is a big backing stamp, a, a background stamp uh, size. But actually I wanted to take elements of it because um, although it's terribly beautiful, it's all the little elements are just as beautiful as well. So I've already got mine prepped up on my block. This is the biggest one. Let me see what number it is. This is an F block. It is huge. Um, and I'm actually going to do mine the opposite way around. This is pistachio pudding and there's just a tiny whisper of soft sky that runs down there. So I'm going to do it the opposite way around. And with a big stamp like this, you don't want to do that, but it's not hugely a huge issue because actually we're going to be cutting parts out. You you kind of take the pad to the stamp whereas normally you would do it another way round. And my ink pad is very, very, uh, very new and very juicy and I think I'm going to get a few bubbles but it's not a problem. That's how it comes out. That's how it comes out. I've got a piece of cardstock. This is actually just um, the bit that was left over after I cut my card, my card blank. doesn't really matter how big. I'm trying not to get my head in this. And you literally just press down quite hard. It's going to stick to it. So I can get a thumbnail under there. There we go. So that's a beautiful, crisp, clear image. Move the stamp out of the way. And now I've got my circle punches. Let me move the stamp set out of the way. I've got my one and three eighths of an inch circle and my one and a quarter. And it's the one and a quarter I want to use to choose the elements that I want. So I know, shall I have this big, I'll have this big one over here and I'm not going to be able to reach. So all you do is you grab your scissors, don't throw them across your desk as I've just done. And you just position it so that you can get it, the bit you want to cut out. So, have one of those. I like these little ones down here. Shall I have those? Shall I have that one? I like that one actually. I think I'm going to have that one there. One of those. What else shall I have? I like these down here, which actually I'll pop those down there. I think I'll have those as well. But you know, you go and choose what you want. You know, I could have gone for those. I think, could I get the, I could have got the hummingbird in had I not cut that bit out. There's another one over there. You could cut these out. There's loads of little separate parts that are just gorgeous. But I've got those three. I've got the matching um, soft sky cardstock. So I want to have three of these. So that's the next circle up. Oops, one, two, three of those and I'm going to mount them up on dimensionals. Hopefully I'm not going to run out of these. Oh, I've got a load more in my drawer but I didn't get them out. Silly me. Just over there. And I like that I like the fact that there's very little uh, difference in size with these so you just get a whisper of a border peeping round. There's those. I've got my card mat already. It's a standard um, the standard C6 card so it's half a sheet of A4 cut in half folded in half and then my mat is half a centimetre smaller. I want to sponge the edges so I'm going to sponge the card itself with the soft sky. So I'm just holding the card closed and I'm just going to very quickly whiz round the edges. And this card has come about because I was sat. I didn't have um, crafter's block as such, but I kind of, it was one of those evenings when I had t so much choice I didn't know what to choose. So I said to my husband who was in the room with me, pick a couple of colours and he went green and blue. And I just thought, you know, the classic, you know, blue and green should never be seen. And I thought, well, you know, I can play him at this game. So I pulled up two very pale shades. And this is this is the card that came about because of him saying, oh, I'll work with blue and green then. 
Um, he had previously said uh, he said pink and red before now. He kind of never knows what I'm actually asking him to choose for. He just mm, nods and smiles at me and <laughs> leaves me to it. But uh, I think this is quite a nice combination of blue and green. It's just soft, it's just subtle. So, there we go, that's my mat and my base. I'm going to try and stamp correctly on here. This is my wibbly stamping and I've got the Just Because which is out of the A Dozen Thoughts and I hadn't even noticed this until I actually saw it on an inspiration project in the catalogue. Can't remember what the project was um, but it was in there. So I'll try and line this up at the bottom. Pretty good. I'm going to quickly put some snow on here and I've just looked up at my camera and it's telling me that my battery is about to run out. Dimensionals on the back of here. And layer them up in any order you fancy. We have to start at the I'll start in the middle. Oops, try not to stick them all to each other. And one on there, and assuming that the battery is not going to go, I've got some pearls here. Got my paper piercer. Just to finish off some in the middle. Talk about speedy crafting, please don't go battery. <sighs> that one, that needs a bigger one. Maybe a smaller one there. So, oh, there we go. There's my card. It's the reverse version of this one, which is pistachio pudding and smoky, sli uh, smoky sky. Soft sky, even. And this one is smoke soft sky. I can't speak. Soft sky with pistachio pudding made with wildflower meadow. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon.